Hey guys, it's your girl Esther, aka Bunny, aka Bun Bun, aka Buns, aka Bun, and I'm back with another video. If you have not seen my Yup, I had Bray box, go ahead and click the link right up above, or I also have it down below for you to watch later. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with this video. This story is basically one of the reasons why I had cut my traditional locks, and I just want to get this out the way. I do not have anything against traditional locks, against any locks. So, mind you, this is my opinion and my story could probably relate to some people out there. And what I want to say is probably the truth that people don't even really want to talk about. So, please don't come for me because, you know, everyone's journey is different that's why it's called a journey i cut my locks august 22nd 2018 like i said i only had the locks for two years um i installed them 2016 and then they were removed 2018. Okay, so in my journey within the two years of me being locked it was all cool and dandy then it came to a point to where i don't know what it was but i felt like I don't think it was my work experience. I just didn't feel comfortable in my locks. Um, I think it was because I was going through the the stage that they call the awkward stage. But at that time, I was like wearing wigs and stuff. And so it came to a point where I was like buying a wig like every two weeks. So um, it came to a point where I was like, I don't know if I really like these locks anymore. I don't think this is for me. And plus, I was going through a whole, like, cycle change. Like, my menstrual cycle was going upside down, backwards, and reverse. I don't know what the heck. Then I was also stressing about, like, the living situation that I was in. And, like, I just didn't feel like I went to locks anymore. So, I had cut my locks. And um, when I cut them... I'm not gonna say I had a relief, but when I cut them, I felt like whatever I cut off wasn't with me anymore. So I can't really tell you what it was or how it was. All I know is that a release was taken off of me. Do I miss my traditional locks? No, not really. I feel like I have more of a versatility with these ones than I did with the other ones. Um, I'm not gonna say it was more bulky. There were like some styles that I tried to do, but I couldn't really accomplish. Um, I mean, you could accomplish a lot with those locks and it has versatility, but I don't think it has much more versatility than the micro locks that I have now. They were heavy they were getting heavy um the only time I felt the weights was when I was in the shower and was washing my hair they were heavy but they were not like oh my god I'm gonna break my neck heavy they were just like you know oh okay I got hair on my head so yeah they were kind of heavy with the um traditional locks I did blow dry my hair um I don't like white hair it's not you, it's me. I promise you, this time it's me. I had about 142 or 43. I remember I was combining a few. I'm looking down because I'm actually looking at them. I still have them. Yup, these are my babies. I still have them. And here's like some of the ones that I was saying in my other video that had like the skunk look. This is a blondie see yeah they're so frizzy I love it they're really really pretty <laughs> one of my friends was like oh you should sell them I'm like uh-uh I ain't trying to sell my energy even though it's cut off but you know you never know you never know Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also, don't forget to subscribe. The button's right down below. 
And also you might as well go ahead and click that bell notification to get alerts when I post another video. Yeah. Wow. That was unexpected. But other than that, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.